US is not safe for international students anymore. Over 100,000 students come to the US every year to enroll themselves in US universities and colleges. Um, and this number has been ever increasing since it's so much easier now to come to the US than it was before. In January and February of 2024, over eight students have been directly involved in cases where they, it has been resulting in their deaths or they have resulted in major injuries to the students. And I'm here to talk about it. This video is not meant to be my views on things. This video is meant to be very informational and that's all. Uh, the reason for me to make this video is because there's been so many incidents which I need to students to be informed about and it's important that sometimes students need to take safety in their hand. In one of the cases where a student was walking around in the Chicago neighborhood at 1 a.m. at night, it was dangerous for him to do that. Now, even though US is the most advanced country, but gun laws are really loose in the US. And again, I'm not here to comment on that. I'm here to inform you as a fellow international student at one time and a person who's working on a visa now in the US. There's been series of incidents and I'm gonna tell you each and every instance and what were what are the news articles saying about them and how that happened. On January 14th, Gattu Dinesh and Nikesh died of potentially carbon monoxide poisoning. There's also an article which says that they died of fentanyl poisoning, but it is unsure which one to follow. If you have any information on these cases where um, Dinesh and Nikesh from Sacred Heart University of Connecticut and you know how the demise happened and you know the exact reason why it happened, please inform them. The students came to study at Sacred Heart University in Connecticut very recently. They were here. Uh, they actually arrived in the US on December 28, 2023 and they both passed away on January of 14th, 2024. When their roommates checked on them in the morning. They were fast asleep and they were not opening the rooms. That's when the roommates called 911 and they were found dead. Uh, again, not exact reason of their death or demise is unsure. The second incident happened on 116 when Vivek Saini, who was working at a gas station in Lithuania, Georgia, he was hit by a homeless guy 50 times by a hammer. Uh, Vivek was being a good Samaritan, being a good citizen. He was just helping. He was just helping that homeless person because it was cold in Georgia. He was giving him food. Sometimes he gave his own jacket to him. And the homeless, when Vivek, after like a few days, asked the homeless guy to leave the premises of the gas station because maybe the owner of the gas station didn't want him there. Um, he hit Vivek 50 times with a hammer and that resulted in uh, the death of Vivek. On 120, uh, an Indian origin student, Akul Dhawan, he was found dead on University of Illinois Urbana Champions campus. The temperatures in Midwest get really cold during the months of December and January, and there's a very, very prominent chance that he died because of hypothermia. Hypothermia is when you are exposed to cold weathers for a longer period of time. Uh, it has been said that the temperatures that day was negative 20 and it took the university police department forever to find Akul. Even though he was only found like half a mile away from the last location he was seen. Akul's parents who live in California, they have, they have raised concerns. They are probably gonna file a suit against the university department as well, but not no matter what they do now, it's not gonna bring their kid back. And it's just a very sad story where he, he just went to college after his winter breaks and uh, he was probably going back to his dorm and probably lost his way and died because of hypothermia. In the third week of January, another student named Neela Charya, he was from Purdue University where I went to school as well. He was found dead. Um, the reason of his death is unknown. We don't know if it was like from initial observations and the postmortem also like they didn't see any injury marks on his body so it could be some kind of poisoning but there's been no news articles or new new information on his death. Uh, Neil was a computer science grad and he was also doing data scientist so he was doing double majors and uh, he you know even I shared the story a bunch of pretty guys shared the story where is Neil and he was 
uh, he was found dead at one of the places around campus. On February 1st, Shreyas Reddy, another student, another grad student of University of Cincinnati, Ohio, was found dead. There's not been any information on why he was found dead, whether it was self-inflicted, uh, whether it was a suicide or it was a death by other reason, but there's been no news article um, of that information. Sayed Mazar on February 4th was walking back to his apartments late at night in Chicago um, when three guys, three African-American guys, followed him, hit him and took his phone and wallet. There's a interview with him as well. Well, these armed robberies are on the mind of everyone living on this block. People here tell me that they're just worried about their safety. You can see the aftermath right down here where one of the victims was beaten and robbed on North Campbell Street just steps away from his apartment. This is something I cannot forget. He was wanted gun on me and there were two wounds on my head. This and one more is on this. Syed Mazahir Ali can barely walk on his own today as he recovers from an armed robbery right outside his home. That incident is one of at least two robberies police reported early this morning in the West Ridge neighborhood. Part of Ali's attack was caught on a neighbor's surveillance camera. Ali's roommates say they noticed this black sedan circling the block around 1 a.m. right before the robbery happened. They pulled up next to my car because when they made their first two rounds, they uh, saw me sitting in the car with my lights on and stuff, so I was an easy target for them but I hid in the back seat. The offenders then moved on down the street and you can see three of them jump out of the windows of that sedan and hide behind a parked vehicle waiting for a victim. That's when Ali was walking home. You could see him try to run away after noticing those suspects. They were like punches on my eye and they were hitting me with their legs on my face, on my ribs, on my back. Ali was taken to St. Francis Hospital where he was treated for several cuts and bruises He's an international student at a nearby university and moved here just six months ago. He says this is something he never imagined happening to him. America is in my dream country. I came here, you know, to fulfill my dreams and do my uh, masters, you know. So, but yesterday incident was like, you know, gave me a trauma. It's a growing concern many people on this block mentioned to us today, and these roommates are all fed up as they say they came here to live out a dream as international students. But to them, it's been more of a nightmare instead. Sometimes I feel that whether I have to discontinue of masters and go back to my home country, thinking about it and seeing such incident and there is no proper security over here. He's safe right now, but again, he's he has a bunch of trauma because you just don't expect like guys to fall follow behind you, and then you know even if you give them your phone and wallet, like they're still hitting you and. You can see a bunch of injury marks on his face. This is not the first time I'm hearing about this kind of case. Again, it has been coming in the news, but there's been multiple universities where Indian students have been targeted by population there. And there's been like, I wouldn't say stabbing, but there's they've shown the knife and they're like, hey, give us your money and phone. Uh, even the universities have informed the students that this can happen. And in that case, you should be carrying only some amount of cash with you so that, you know, in case it goes away, you can still call the bank and close off your credit card and buy a new phone. Nothing's more important and more valuable than your life itself. On February 5th, another Indian student named Samir Kamath was found dead. Um, he was not found dead on the campus, but he was about to graduate from his PhD in 2025. He shot himself and um, the reason why he did that is still unknown. He was only 23, so I just don't understand why he might have taken such a big, um, you know, such a big and drastic step towards shooting himself. These are the only cases which happened in January and February. There's been other cases as well, which has happened um, before in 2023. November of 2023, Aditya, a student named Aditya, who was doing his postdoctoral studies, or actually his doctoral study at University of Cincinnati was shot, was shot dead. Another student in November of 2023, a, named, a student named Varun Raj was stabbed at his gym while he was working out. Don't know if it was the university gym or the gym at his apartment, but it doesn't matter. He was stabbed at the gym while working out. You just don't expect that to happen. Another story came up, uh, which was, where a 26-year-old student named Janvi Kandula 
uh, she was in Seattle and she was hit by a Seattle cop car. She was hit by a Seattle cop car while the cop was on call while he was going on a emergency call. He was driving, I think, over 50 miles per hour in a 25 miles per zone. She was crossing the road and the car hit uh, Janvi. And okay, at one point you're like, okay, it might be an accident. You know, sometimes the cops are in an emergency, but nothing still justifies that. What made it worse is that there was a phone call released with that officer who was driving the car and another officer who was talking to him. He did not know that his body cam was recording this conversation, but I can't even say, I can't even like describe what the conversation was. I'm gonna put the video in so that you can see it for yourself. Yeah, just write a check. Just, yeah, <laughs> $11,000, she was, 26 anyway, she had limited value. <laughs> but she is dead. <laughs> no, it's a regular person. Yeah. It was just insane to hear a cop like laughing it out that hey the person was only 26 year old what's the value in them like just just baffles me still i knew when this happened uh, i think the video got released mid of 2023 but it's still dramatic in 2023 in 2024 in 24 within like these two months february is not even over yet there's been so many incidents which has happened um, is America safe anymore? And like, there might be some places where it's safe, but some places like San Francisco and New York, you see all these, I see all these videos of people breaking people's car in San Francisco and taking their stuff away. Uh, people are like rolling down their window and leaving their cars open so that people can come in and steal whatever they want. There is a limit on how much you can steal and whether they will prosecute uh, or whether they will pursue that case or not so if you are in California and let's say I think $800 is the limit you can people can just come in and like grab things and leave no cops gonna come in unless if uh, the theft is more than $800 and that is the reason why you see so many businesses leave San Francisco San Francisco used to be a beautiful town I've been there in 2019 I love that place uh, it was beautiful but after COVID, it's just been on such a decline. Um, you can see people's shit, people peeing in the streets, people doing drugs in the streets. The same cases with uh, Philadelphia um, as well, where drug infestation is so much that you just don't know what people are going to do for like five, ten dollars They are so hooked on the drugs, the, a drug called fentanyl, which is a deadly drug. But they're so hooked on it that they are ready to kill you or they are ready to injure you just for that small amount of money. Um, same thing with New York with this immigrant crisis from the southern border. So the uh, influx of immigrants you're seeing right now where Texas is closing the borders off and New York is, uh, Texas is shipping immigrants to New York and New York's like closing down schools for these immigrants. And maybe these immigrants are the ones who are like creating chaos. But even before that, there's been these kind of incidents which has happened which doesn't even involve these immigrants. Um, gun laws are definitely loose. Uh, if I'm an American citizen, I would just go to a Walmart and get a gun for myself. I think the background check takes like less than 15 minutes and you can get a gun. And sometimes you, you might have heard stories where small kids like 10 year old kids have taken their parents' gun and taken it to the school. That's just like so bizarre to even think about. Uh, so the big question comes up for you is like, if you're watching this video, if you have had incidents like this, please share that in the comments. Is America safe anymore? Maybe it is, maybe it is not. But it's just very difficult to say, is it even worth to put your life to risk for maybe the extra money you're making? Um, I'm not saying all of the states are like that, all of the cities are like that. There's always areas around campuses. Um, 
but it just it's a big question which has been like pondering in my head and just like i don't know what to think about it anymore what do you think <laughs>